I had to turn it on real quick because I, I got no pad, no pad right here. Matrix cheerleaders. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for no Matrix cheerleaders. Like that's that's deep to y'all like. Beautiful soul, start looking up sexual alchemy. Start looking up alchemy. It's getting deep out here, y'all. Like, this one, though, your time is up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Your time is up. Your time is up. Divine messages from the kingdoms of the other worlds and the all. Oh yeah, y'all. Y'all already know. This shift right here. This shift. Before we get to it, I want y'all beautiful souls to take a look. This is a divine Kombucha. Let me tell you. Let see, see, see the unity in it. Y'all yeah, see the drawing? Make sure y'all get that drawing though. Get that drawing. And the unity in the middle. So, I don't got to take a swig of it, y'all. Wait a minute. Hmm? So, y'all already know kombucha's got that, you know, that little ting, that tang hit to it though when i tell you this one right here this specific one anybody ever go to that ice cream truck and want that bubble gum swirl that was 50 cent it has the audacity to have some of the taste vibrations from that bubble gum swirl okay leave that right there so beautiful souls that know when i drew when i i drew i hand draw logos I draw portraits. I do quite a few things when it comes to that. Like, if you can see it, it's a, I'm drawing a portrait on a poster board back there. And that's just literally a poster board and lead pencil. Though, uh, stay on the topic at hand. When we're talking about eucalyptic arts and the spiritual artwork that I do for eucalyptic arts in the platform though just purchasing this about a month ago so within years of me drawing my logo and it'll let you know when you're on the right path and what you're doing is righteous so and for ones that know like when you go to apartment complexes and you walking in between these little poles for you go and grab the dough and go in the entrance. These are everywhere. The long story short, for beautiful souls that really pay attention to the hieroglyphs when they're writing them. But some of these were chiseled off of the hieroglyphs for us to read. The only ones that knew, that literally got the visions of them chiseling through it are the temples where you see where they dug in. You can literally stick your fingers and hands all the way through the hieroglyphs. They had got the downloads and visions that they were going to do so. So these pharaohs are the ones that made sure they got the deep writing so that way we would be able to read their messages. Oh, Shay. But ain't that something, though, y'all? Like, this lets you know when you're on the right path. You feel me? When it comes to your creativity. And that's deep when we're talking about creativity and solar plexus. They time up, baby. That's deep too, talking about uh, Egyptian Kanam, Ashe, Pharaoh Kanam. These are all clay. And Kyrie Shell, as well as what's the Amazonite on there. See this green adventuring on that one. 
South African jade on this one. Oh, no, no, no. Yukonite. Excuse me. That's Yukonite. Oh, the divine is in it. Okay, and uh, show the um, Eshu and Shango. Ashe. So, the divineness and the Eshu and Shango mask and the drawing, the visions of it. I already know it was going to be a shoe, especially with the Kari shells. But as soon as I started feeling the vibrations, the drums, painting with the red and doing everything, both of them aligned to me specifically for this mask. And seeing with your divine lens, your abundant lens, smelling tasting speaking as you see the eyes everything in these sensible areas are painted in gold so the artwork the things that i do do have meaning because the thing is when i'm creating these things that they're, they're downloads and visions as i'm creating these things and like i said it's an honor to be divinely connected and to talk about it, baby. We, we, we gonna talk about it. Especially talking about these doppelgangers. And copy and paste frequencies. Uh, yep. Spiritual stalkers. Healing stalkers. Like, what? Uh, oh, y'all, this don't make no sense. But we gotta talk. That's the thing, now, beautiful souls. Gotta talk your, speak your truths. When you experience this from these real healers, I mean, from these fake healers. When you experience stuff from real healers too, yep. Yeah, don't speak it. Don't hold up. Don't hold nothing up. Okay, so when you uh in the presence of fake healers, yeah, you speak your truths. With you speaking your truths, do you know that literally sends a ripple effect out to the universe? Because it's truths compared to their fakeness. Because their fakeness comes from you. So since it comes from you, it's your energy. So since it's your energy, that ripple effect goes out. And when it's time to pay the piper, baby, with your good karma or your bad karma. So why it's a lot of clashing. And I spoke about this before. This is this is some of the first of the first of the first night. When we're talking about these occults and stuff, we going back to the first of the first of the first. Because this is deep when we're talking about bloodlines. Like some of these homeless people out here, yo. Motherfucker. They, pharaohs, priestesses, descendants of Oracle. I feel them when they walking up to me. Huh? You can feel a beautiful soul. Especially when there's a soul in the vessel walking up to you. Radiating radiating and what they came here to do like I spoke about that what they already come here open with whatever kingdom of the other worlds who the head the head one baby lets you know what the kingdom of the other worlds is about so if you go into the kingdom of the other worlds and it's the lands of throat chakras baby that head one is there If you go into the kingdoms of the other worlds, Obejana, Ashe, where them third eyes is gleaming, divine feminine baby. That's when we're talking about the Akuana people. When she came down, she was very tall. I put that one on my content as well when you want to go back and look at it. Crystal, right on the third eye, y'all. Shining. And she had a staff. And not only that, and when she came out, it was a big light, but it was in a line. As that line decreased, boom, 
Gang, gang, everybody foul in the back. Mm. Y'all don't understand. Y'all gotta understand how balanced I had to keep it. Because then I was finna get the goddess and, and masculine was finna come in and want to cry. Just understand why celestial ancestors have to be even at that frequency when presenting their pure frequencies to us. That's why they say breathe and sustain life. baby yeah baby your time is up I understood that when I I literally shift I was already spiritually awoken in my vessel staying connected flowing 11 11. I started meeting beautiful souls. I feel your energy. I love your energy. I ain't said nothing to them. I ain't gave them a reading. I ain't said this. I ain't said that. I just spoke in a pure frequency. So these are the ones that want to tell you who you are instead of aligning. Which let me further know where they stand since the first thing they wanted to do was give me a reading instead of feeling think about the money let me sit down and listen to the customer and give a reading let her know what I feel when I give her a read boundaries boundaries so yeah and that D friend damn block quite a few I'm not finna play no games with you. You can understand that too when you got Facebook friends. Especially how they'll comment. I'm a real, I'm a, I done, I done been that done that. I'm a very, very old so They understand that like, being single will bless you with so much that when you get in a companionship you look back at them single days like yeah I accomplished plenty hmm that go back to this I love to keep them around this right here these portals right here hmm oh Beautiful souls. I'm glad we talking about this. I didn't put it on my content before. Y'all start writing. Start writing your uh 1313 Ashe ancestors. Start writing um runes. Ashe runes or protection seagulls and symbols on your mirrors. And we need to quit playing now. Quit playing. When you looking in that mirror. You still control the mirror. No way you looking in this mirror and then out of, out of just thin air, you catch a whole conniption fit. Out of nowhere. So with that being said, like, are we ready to talk about this? Like, the mirror alone... Will, fuck, will mess a whole good day up. If you got these all around your ass and don't even properly know what they're for. That's why they just want you to buy them and put them all over your house. No, no. Listen to the God and Goddess now. I know. Somebody protect your home ten times more. Because when you put them symbols and sequels on your mirrors, baby, it allows your divine only divine assistance to come through when I'm talking about your ancestors, your past over loved ones, the angelic frequencies of the all the divine Arishas of the all whoever you resonate with baby shall be the only thing that is allowed to come through this mirror 
you see how powerful that was when I said it? Say it to the mirror too when you're writing down them symbols. Okay, playing weird, playing no games. Your time is up. been a minute y'all since I've spoken at this frequency though it's it's more masculine with balanced feminine and and how they wanted me to present it yo like it's not a game I'm talking about real chosen We talk it, and we walk it, easily and effortlessly, crafts, creations, keep it in the Vatican then, we'll remake it baby, we'll remake it, and since we're back in the flesh remaking it, That's, that's just there. And you know it now. It's just there. But they ain't talking about that either. Like I said, took this stuff. It, it was here last week, guys. How did it get over there? How did it get over there? Oh, okay. I don't know how to get over there. Be forgetting that the pharaohs priestesses, descendants, divine oracles. Y'all forgetting that they had a natal chart too? On specific nodal points. Things move. Oh, <laughs> they, don't, ooh, they, won't even, they don't even want me to explain it. That's too deep right now. That's too deep right now for them. Mm, mm, mm. The cross watches that is the doppelgangers that is y'all already know my spiritual team that's on here and uh all my newcomers gotta say that thank you pure love pure gratitude pure respect for liking and subscribing to my youtube page because y'all already know oh yeah up uh, up, up. Mm -hmm. And divine creations as we do so. You know? <laughs> the divine creations as we do so. They wanted me to pull it back up. That's another thing. The mirrors around. As that's the divineness in the marriage. You'll you'll see ancient ones too. You know a real ancient one, baby, when you see him walking around with a mirror. I mean, it's like Flavor Flav had the clock. It's a mirror. It's in Chicago. And they had a garden. Walk by the garden. It's big mirrors. Some of them, it was broken you know how they go Let's witness to it and doing it myself personally when it comes to this type of ancient healing Beautiful souls call it exercising energy out of the vessel. I'd prefer to say it like that for the simple fact that it's it's still vibrations, frequencies, and energies. And when you speak upon these words that have 
a ripple effect of a spell, curse, or hex. Allow it to be where you want it to be when it comes off of thy lips. What vibration, frequency, and energy you put on it. So yeah, all this adds up when we're talking about demonic energies, angelic energies, the all. Hmm. Oh yeah, shit cold, man. Ooh, shit cold stuff, for. That'd be another, like, I understand, like, especially during this, this race situation, this spiritual race, because I don't, I don't do race. I don't, when it comes, I don't do ethnicities, baby. What tribe, what's your name, what, what tribe you from? Give me a name. That'd be another thing, you're you going to play, you're going to quit playing. Give me a name. And not the name that. It's on your birth certificate, your social security card, your, your, your state ID, drive's license. Not that one. Give me a name, Ashe, give me that name that someone keeps whispering to you so gently for you to ascend to that God, a goddess frequency that is within your genes, ready to activate. Somebody better hear me because that's a channel message. Ancestor walking around you, yelling. I mean, not yelling it, whispering it. They're yelling it in, in, in they realm. Though, to speak to you, it's gentle. It's a gentle whisper so you can understand it's of love. And it's your name. They're saying your name. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a very ancient name. Can we get the name, ancestors? Urius. Urius. Mm. Ooh. And it might, you might, you might be some soul family. Urius. Uh, they're saying Crete, Crete, Greece. Now, Crete, Greece. So they don't, they don't like to talk about that. Like, when we talking about Greece, Rome, Vatican. Like, when we talking about the first creation, when celestial ancestors started creating. Hi. It's here. So it was the darker though. Look, look darker though, baby. Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. And blonde hair. I know you like. And blonde hair with blue eyes. I said, I know you like. Oh, somebody go to look up Solomon's Island. Everybody. Everybody looking like a. Oh. I said, uh, no, that makes sense. And it messes makes sense. And Cat Williams said, what's that on their backs? That's their, that's they, that's they, what? Pull this boat over. Pull this boat over. That's her butt. I gotta see it. Hmm. So, as us, Ashe, Rome, Ashe tribesmen, let's talk about it. Our divine gods didn't do, rape, take, or anything. They were already at these humble frequencies. So, when they came off the boats onto the lands, they observed. So where do you think that forceful energy comes from? That forceful European, Assyrian, that forceful energy. 
when God started seeing that, of course she going to wake up. Shake that energy right up. Get off of me. That is not how I am to treat a goddess. Hmm. It'd be, it be such a beauty. Like, when I see this, oh, my ancestors say, yeah, I'll stand and sing and, and send my ripple effect to pure love. I'll, yeah, move out the way. Move out the way. His free will is ready. Her free will is ready. Gotta understand what earth angels be out here doing all day, all day, baby. Like, it's not a game when some of us really know our soul mission and soul purpose and why we be spirit led to do certain things that we do. Like, there's certain apps I don't mess with apps like that. Some I deactivate, come back to them. Some pages I shut completely down. Being aware of energy, especially when ones say that they're of power, playing with energy. Shut it down. And teaming up. You understand me? Yeah. Say they of pure intuition, but teaming up with other beautiful souls to down talk a chosen one. If that ain't a possession, a group rally possession. To literally, damn, it's messing with your karma and your dharma. Stagnating the energy to speak off of thy lips. Somebody else. And they got nothing to do with you. Pay attention to how your body feel. <laughs> Can't pay me. Mm. Like literally, pay attention to how your body feel. Are you in your God and Goddess body? You know when you're in your God and Goddess body, when you're explaining it as if like me personally, a vibration, frequency, and energy analyst. And how that plays out in a beautiful soul. I ain't beating around the bush. I ain't shook on knife and say this, say that. I know projected illusions. None of it. With me doing it just like that. They don't understand. It's law. It's law. So stop it. How, why does she? How does she know all of this? How does she know everything? How does in a sit and do mirror in a sit and do mirror magic and don't think that you gonna see who doing the mirror magic? Because for one, this mirror magic, who you think created mirror magic, yo? We're talking about ancient ones, shining ones. Who started it? Who wanted to create the mirror to begin with? Which, my Shay ancestors come through. Which celestial ancestor came through and said, we need more mirrors on these earthly planes so we can be able to move about. Huh? Somebody, somebody know this one? It's a lot of talk, a lot of trending, talking. Talk about the deeper components. Ashe, 2929. Break it down to 1111. Ashe. Talking about deeper components. We're talking about these energies, demonic energies or vibrations, frequencies, and energy. 
angelic frequencies, ancestral frequencies, the all in general, the all, and how everything moves around us. So yes, this one right here. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, and the, ooh, okay, they want me to show you that too. Like, I be, they, 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 they be on it though, we spirit led. So this is this is a mantra. Amplify it. Still got the point. Put it on your third eye. Sit. This is a divine one too. Put it on your heart. As you see where it's pointing. It's divine angles when you could do it like this and have both index finger and pinky fingers pointing straight at the sun and the moon as it's reciprocating from your heart space. Masha, they wanted me to say that specifically for beautiful souls that's doing mantras. So you're doing uh, mantras and you're meditating. That's a divine way you can uh, channel. Remember, hand chakras is magnetic too, so start putting crystals on your hands. Magnetic pool. So I make uh, crystal rings as well. Magnetic pull. And having them on your wrist, like, mm, put them everywhere. All over my body, like, this deep. When we talking about it, activating your Atlantean, Lemurian, and Talos DNA. Still going, baby, still going. It's so many kingdoms of other worlds that were created just with crystals. And then while you see it like it's brick, but it's not brick, it's clay. And some of them ain't clay, it's stone. So you gotta understand that too when being pulled into a density way lower than the density that it was originally at. So yeah, of course when it come in 3D, it's gonna look, oh, it's, it's a mound. You know him? Yeah, it's not a mound. As soon as I some of them I see him, you can you can tell it was a tabernacle. Huh? Come on now. Talking to a seer. You could tell some of these temples was tabernacles. Like and and mm, mm, mm. seventy two apostles. 72 some and some of them they, they ain't even <laughs> he's a bishop of Thebes that's it mm, mm, mm. but that's the thing like and it's divine ooh I'm getting over ooh Ashe just got like a ringing sensation at the bottom of my foot so that's divine as well y'all already know when they come in i give them to y'all real and raw real sugar coat over here so somebody's been getting throbbing sensations in their body now understand me on this it's different when you get throbbing sensations from 33 44 i'll from when you've just had surgery that's different that's it's it could be leftover radiation from, you know, the instruments and all the solar gadgets that's in the hospital. Like, that's different. Though, when we're talking about beautiful souls that are more spiritually inclined, this is the God and Goddess within you that realms in that specific part of your vessel. This is how powerful we are. So, with the feet, the Piscean baby. This, okay, so, Mami Wata, Ulukun, Oshun, Yemoja, Ile, 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 Ashe. So, when we're talking about, you know, water gods and goddesses, the water ancestors, baby. The Piscean. Bringing, throbbing 
burning sensation. The bottom part in the back of my left foot. Feel. Feel. That's another thing. You're like, you're like, ooh, is it pain? No, it ain't pain. No, it don't hurt. That'd be another thing, too, to be aware of when we're talking about vibrations, frequencies, and energy. So, with the vibrations, yo, pay attention. So, when, okay, they wanted me to be specific. So, when you're walking, there's no way you should be able to stop and, oh, it's a pain. Now, your foot then went to sleep. Nah, baby. And that's some energy that then literally flew in your leg. And wanted you to stop stop my, to stop walking. Are we ready to talk about these things? Gods and goddesses, how powerful you are. These energies will come right in and want to stop the day. Because it just is it's, it's swimming through nodal points, through these ley lines. That's another reason why I say beautiful So I'm going to say it in this one too. Beautiful souls, beautiful souls, beautiful souls. That beautiful grid you used to get when you were in school to draw those beautiful graphs. Color them. Make them look pretty. Your, your math graph or whatever graph where your teacher gave you that paper. Hmm? That graph is the world. That graph is your matrix. So with that being said, sitting in your space and each each like literally know the point but we're gonna we're gonna go deeper than that so in the inside you know your blood your veins so just picture your veins just coming out and like cords going everywhere and they latching on like that graph on each nodal point each ley line each energy grid love you want to make sure inner love inner love inner love pure love pure love pure love hmm? Mm, mm, mm. say it say it in your head when you're already at that frequency and you're feeling it Shining light. Crystal light like it's crystals and fairy dust. On the course as they go in and pow. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. It's power in it. Breathe and sustain light. Understanding them more, more, and more when I get, I literally am at peace at my frequencies, and it'll be beautiful souls that come about. Two beautiful souls being aware when these energies come around you. And these be levels of your ascension, yo. And these be nine times out of ten the ones that want to pull you back down. If you are at your levels of peace, don't let nobody come around messing with your peace, baby. Allow them to sit in their karma. Their time is up. This goes for family and, and when it comes to these certain things too. Time is up. Playing with your abundance. Playing with your beauty. Like all of this. Time's up. It's been up. <laughs> El Kuru, don't play no games. It's been up. And that's deep to like. Mm, mm, mm. Everybody already know what you think you become, what you say, 
you become. So knowing thyself is of grave importance right now. So the things that you are speaking of off of thy lips resonates with what you came here to do. No sugar code. No sugar code, nothing. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't no time for sugar code. Put that again. We ain't got no time for sugar code, baby. Not no sugar code. Especially when time is up. So, yeah. Mm hmm. They definitely wanted me to put that on here. Your time is up. Ain't, ain't no, ain't no way beautiful souls is out here. Literally, literally saying that they are healers and would really do magic on another beautiful soul. I'm going to say it one more time. There's no way that you're a real healer and you're doing magic on someone else. Okay, how you look at it. And that's deep. The, 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 these be the ones that tell on themselves. You telling on yourself. Oh, well, she, I know she doing magic on me. I know she doing magic on me. It's a possession. Because if you really knew, you would know. It wouldn't be with anger. You know. Okay. Ain't even gonna say nothing. You ain't gonna say nothing. Like all of it. Like being aware of the possessions when you were around beautiful souls too. Like awareness is a superpower. And these be whole possessions, yo. You ain't blame somebody for them doing spell work just because you know you want to do it because you want to stop somebody or drain their energy. Your time is up. And it's to the point now where it's finna be the death of some. Because some done been warned to stop. Some of these cults is very old, y'all. This go back to Rockefeller times. When we talking about real shining ones, Egyptian, like real ancient times, yo. That's why they saying the 1% coming back to us. Faking it to make it. It is not a game when we talking about what's really going on right now. Why they stalking chosen ones. Instead of aligning to chosen ones. Doing it righteously. And then get mad when then get mad when the reader you paying the reader. You a healer, but you going to pay a reader. Oh, okay, yes, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> you a healer, but you going to pay a reader. To ask them certain things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they shut it down quickly because it was it. it. <laughs> okay. I, okay, I understand. I shut. That that's another one right there, y'all. That's another one. Real hills. You're connected. You don't need a Ifa, a Baba, a Sangoma. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Real old soul right here, baby. You don't need none of that unless you're aligned for divine unity. You're exchanging gifts, abilities, services, bartering, gathering together. Real oneness. It ain't about this ooh 4422 so we're gonna pull around to 4444 Ashe. And we talking about it. That's what you align to Ifa's Babas, Ifa Solas, Sangomas for. We don't align to them for them to literally think that they can do certain we came, we've come into times, baby. Do you get in the venom too? 
because for one when these fake healers come to you you should already know that they're possessed that's your first red flag and why you get your karma for what for two when they get to explaining and oh baby let them have the audacity to have a picture of us baby and soon as these Sangomas, Ifas, and Baba see a picture of us, if they're truly in tune and not possess themselves, they deny it. I don't know. No. They've been denied too, y'all. <laughs> Some have even been denied. Oh no, I'm not gonna do no spell on I'm not gonna do this buying this chosen one. Binding. That's another. And that's another thing. So beautiful souls want to know why your abundance is the way it is. Some of them have even went routes with the cults, and that's another thing. When we're talking about royalty, royal lineages, and just abundance. Period. Just period. Europeans, Assyrians, Koreans. Like when we're talking about the low patriarchy aspect of it. Yeah, it was bind and done. Mm -hmm. But it's lifted. Time's up. Time is completely up. Mm -mm -mm. And, and, and like when we talk it's, it's a wrap. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, ain't no more of it. We, the main thing about it is we didn't come here for it. That's why it's coming back into that whole time loop again where I'm, I'm talking, I'm going to talk about it. No way. Our culture is out here and they, and then some, uh, they see it for what it is because they the ones that did it from the first place manipulate the crystals and turn a whole culture on each other to where they doing spells on one another. Oh, well, we ain't even got to do it no more. They doing it on each other. Just like the guns and stuff. Melt down the silver. Take the silver out the house. Black Wall Street, baby. Real Black Wall Street, baby. Take the silver about the house. Melt it down and make bullets. Let's add up. So of course, I'm going to talk about it when we talk about these guys. That's it. Talk say buck breaking. These rappers are still doing buck breaking. Okay. And you still listening to his music. So here you are. What a, they're like, come on now, gods. I still listen to his music. Oh, he sold this, but he sold his soul to the devil. He ain't got no soul. Yeah, he, he, he got done in the butt. He said he got done in the butt too. Y'all ain't that something yet? Yeah. Still listen to his music. It, what and what is that solving that you're speaking at that frequency about another god? So yeah, that's another prime example right there. It's 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 pointless. Pointless. So yeah, I do I do yoga sessions, I do meditation sessions, I do healing sessions, I do sessions that deal with you filling your body so that you can understand your own self mastery, giving the space for you to start evolving in your own self-mastery so you know Reiki or you know quantum there's there's several names we can give it though vibrations frequencies and energy and being able to master it <laughs> and literally that alone 
about your day all day every day how you feeling so yeah beautiful souls we're gonna uh, about an hour in about 50 minutes in but still I love it and the frequencies of their time is up y'all their time is up like it's it's a done deal it's, it's a done deal y'all this is when I knew so many ancestors was on deck. Y'all know how many meteorites and meteors then missed this earthly plane by accident? Missed it to come back around and land in a different frequency. I'm going to say it again for beautiful souls because they want me to say it again. The meteors, this is a whole vibration, frequency, and energy. So some are destructive some literally have a celestial ancestor in there wanting to land here so that they can cause havoc or they're a divine messenger so all of this adds up and they ain't create man in black for nothing so, long story short when we're talking about this and all these meteorites that missed our earthly plane that we are on right now missed it on purpose in the knowing what's going on right now like some longitude latitude they're researching science they're on it so it's going to be right here at this time you know, Operation Pi Pi, where they manipulate the weather satellites and do this and do that. You can't manipulate the universe. So that's why some of them missed on purpose. Who y'all think y'all playing with? You can't, you, you can't manipulate pure love, baby. to say that too. Who said something wrong with you? Nothing wrong with you. You already know hurt people hurt people. And nine times out of ten it's a possession. That's why, you know, when you suppress that hurt, that hurt becomes energy. And how strong is that energy in the vessel that lashes out on somebody else? Mm, mm, mm. And some still call themselves spiritual. Full of that pain. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I gotta understand. Like when we come to beautiful souls, that's the day of power. I just sit back, watch, and observe. Mm. And being in companionships too, stuff like that, it shows and how you act, where your levels of love at. Ooh, a new dude that get mad when you pull yours from. Oh no, you ain't showing not a pinch of it. But get mad when I pull mine away. Oh. Oh. That's some strong possession right there. And to get so mad, create a whole nother relationship. <laughs> so, like, and that's deep too when we're talking about levels of abandonment. Or, like... Commitment, abandonment, commitment issues, feeling like you have to go from one companionship to the next, or some just some just out here, y'all. You a healer, but you just out here. I mean, you just out here, out here, legs open, out here. No, no, that's a lot of energy. And then for you to say you a healer? Out here playing with energy like that? Oh, no. oh, baby. That's a possession. That's a possession. That ain't no healer.
speaking to y'all about this though. We can talk about it on here. And when you're in their presence, oh, oh no. Allow your dharma and karma to be divine. Hmm. Ancestors be like, don't say anything. Hmm. Allow them to see what they see. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I could throw some stories out about that, but yeah, we gonna <laughs> Ooh, I shake. 55, 55. But yeah, we're going to uh, go ahead and end this one. I wanted to do a, do a nice little clip though, y'all. Because uh, time's up. Their time is up. For real. There's no secrets. We aren't here to do spells, curses, hexes, anything poisonous on another beautiful soul. All these spells, curses, hexes, seances, ceremonies are meant for self self-gain, breathing, sustaining life to get divine messages from the cosmos, divine creations. <laughs> Ancient civilization wasn't just created from within. We went, of course we went within, but we still reached out into the kingdoms of the other worlds and got our answers. So that that's deep too. A lot. Ooh, baby. Some of them. Some of them ain't even got no more intuition. Ancestors want me to say that. Their intuition is gone. You've been draining and using other beautiful souls' intuition. You've been stealing and harnessing their energy. It ain't even your energy. And that's another thing. When you when you were harnessing and harvesting that beautiful soul's energy, what made you think they couldn't read everything about you? From your children to your children's deaths. Mm, mm, mm. To your death. To everyone in these occults deaths. The depths of their deaths as well. Because some will ascend from this and heal. They're going to repent. They're bowing now. Though, when we're talking about these cults, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, your time is up. Your time is up. Divine Feminine been here for quite some time. Observing. Feeling energy grids and nodal points with pure love. Very aware when pure love frequencies are being reciprocated back. Very much so. That allows me to really see what soul family and soul trap family is really about. That's deep too. We're talking about that. Real healers and then puppets to the real healers. Instead of evolving in your own healing abilities, you become a puppet or you're watching or broadcasting or cheerleading another healer instead of focusing on what you know you need to be doing. Cheerleaders. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I only say the cheerleaders because them be the main ones that'll volunteer to do spells, curses, and hexes on the chosen one too. Especially when they're still learning crafts. This be deep too. We'll be talking about these channel messages and ones that are really truly connected to source. So, 
Yeah. Your time up, baby. You know your time up. Don't allow it to be the death of you, though. Not in this life. When there's so many angels, earth angels, and fallen angels that came back to do it righteous this time. Hmm? Do it righteous. So with that being said, we're going to end it right there. And with time being up, time has only gotten started. Always love, light, phenomenal healing, peace.